There are just 29 hours left until our scooter drives itself off the roof of our 26-foot building. Our challengers have decided to build a giant net which will capture the scooter as a counterweight system lowers it to the ground. If they can catch the scooter, they will each get one. But with the frame barely laid out and a counterweight system still to be dialed in, there's a lot to be figured out. Today is all about getting this thing completely built, mounting all of our plates to the building, and once that's all said and done, we're going to actually see how this thing swings today. I mean, the goal is to have it moving today. Top of day two, and the guys are back here building again after taking off last night because they felt pretty confident. Today's a whole different story. Why? There's a little bit of tension brewing between Sam and Jake. Outside, Jake and Pete prepare to mount their scooter net to the wall. We're ready for and we're totally ready to put in the one side, dude. That's going to take a long time to drill all those holes. Jake is ready to drill, but Sam is dead set against it. Well, look, dude, I'm not going to mount something and have to remount it again. We're not Build the frame to first. It again. We know that one side is going to go hard up against that gutter. Once we have the width of the frame, then we can determine where the other side goes. I'm not worried about it this way laterally. I'm worried about if you don't set that at the right height, after we stand this thing up, we're going to be in trouble. Right. Is that piece not eight feet? Is our opening not eight feet? That doesn't matter. It does matter. That's the whole deal. Dude, look, both of us agree on this, and you're just walking away. Drilling these holes always takes the longest. And uh, our partner in there doesn't want to drill the holes yet because he doesn't know where it's going to end up. I'm saying we can drill the one side because the one side's going right next to that rain gutter. It doesn't matter. That's where it's going. The other side we can drill later. How are you going to make sure that thing is vertically sound? How are you going to make sure this frame goes in square? We're going to get the plumb bob in a minute. We're not drilling right now. We're taking some measurements. Of the ramp? Yeah, yeah, I need Don't a... drill a single hole in this wall until I come back out. We're not. We're not. Yeah, I just need to measure the height okay. of the ramp. Let's get that clear. You're not going to mount these plates without me, so don't Dude. even start on it. Is it a team thing? It is a team thing, but you're jumping two steps ahead. Dude. They're going to bite you later. Trust Stim me. Simmer down. You're going to do what I tell you when it comes to these bolts. I'm going to do what you tell me? Yeah, you're not going to mount these bolts without the way I tell Dude, you how to do it. You telling me I... that is just going to make me want to drill them faster. Okay, don't we'll be see a about bag. that. You simmer down. You're way ahead of yourself. We have at least an hour worth of laying out to do on that wall before I drill a single hole. I don't know, man. That guy thinks he's in charge, but uh, just because you're a general contractor doesn't mean you know anything. I know he doesn't work for me, but he can learn from me. If you just calm down and let me explain to him why I have the reasons why I have them. If he doesn't listen, I can't help him. This guy here actually is a rocket scientist. He works for NASA. You know whose opinion I'm going to trust on this? It's not his opinion. It's this guy.